nature of the mind is that it's quick to want to do something. This is just a thought. Watch it arise, watch it stay for some time, and watch it subside. What shall I do in meditation? This is just an idea. What do we know about the nature of thoughts, ideas? They arise, they sustain for some time, and they pass. Due to how we have discovered our world through reaching out, touching things, tasting things, experiencing things, with the teachings of learning more, progressing more, improving more. It takes some time to settle in meditation, which is the antidote to more. It is returning the attention of the mind to that which has always been you. But with the teachings of more, more, better, reaching, striving, attaining, gaining, succeeding, it has been overlooked, covered, Meditation creates some space, some time, some being, to remember who you are. Pure. Free. Ever present. We hear sounds. And in just the same way, we hear as if our thoughts. Our thoughts. <laughs> we perceive movement in the mind. And we conclude, my thoughts. <laughs> so whether that movement is perceived as sound, or thoughts, or the moving of emotion, joy, tears, fire, air. It's all to be observed, to be known. As yourself. Not as other that needs to be conquered, controlled, managed, analyzed, confronted or wrestled with in any way, or even elevated, spiritualized? Can we just simply be with ourselves? That self that has always been pure, 
free. It is the mind that wants to name it, label it, define it, and thereby confine it. And so, what is the first teaching that I apply in my own life again and again and again? Those thoughts that arise stay for some time and they pass. To name, to label, to define, to analyze, to compare is all happening in the realm of thinking. Nothing wrong. But do we know that that's its domain? Or have we become so mixed that I say, that is me? So meditation allows this mixture, the complete identification with thinking, to slowly loosen, create some space, some perspective. some wisdom. Meditation is not to further reinforce that which has bound us to this identification with gain, progress, achieving, and doing. So we just take a little more time, just in observing. Movement in the mind cannot harm you, cannot limit you, and in fact does not even define you. The discovery of this through observing in this way is immensely liberating. Just take a few more minutes. (laughs) 